Hello, Abby. My name's Amy. May I examine your eyes? Yes. There are many useful signs on inspection of the eyes. An exhaustive list is given in the textbook. Look at head and eyelid position and consider the parts of the eye in turn. Look for proptosis or forward bulging of the eyeball from above. Now we test visual acuity. Do you wear glasses? No. Ask patients to use their normal glasses for distance vision. Please cover your right eye. Ensure that there is good ambient lighting. Use the chart at its specified distance and ideally fix it so that it doesn't move. Ask the patient to cover one eye with a card and read from the top down until they can no longer distinguish the letters. Please cover your left eye. If the patient cannot read down to the bottom line, ask them to use a pinhole. If they cannot read the top line of the chart with or without the pinhole, bring the chart closer until they can and record this distance. Repeat this process for near vision. Please cover your right eye. Again, consider the lighting and the patient's usual glasses. Hold this at a comfortable distance and start reading from the top paragraph. The card is printed with prose in type of various sizes. Record the smallest size that can be read accurately. Please cover your left eye and continue reading. I'm better lighted than any, than those of any metropolis in Europe. Thank you. Next, we test the patient's visual fields. Sit directly facing the patient, about one meter away. Please keep your head still and look directly into my eyes. Test for a homonymous defect with all four eyes open. Please tell me when you see my finger moving. Hold your hands out now. to their full extent and wiggle your fingertip. Now. Ask the patient to indicate when they see it move. Do this now. at 2, 4, 8 and 10 o'clock. Test for sensory inattention. Please point to the finger that you see moving. Again, both eyes open. It is important to check both sides at the same time. Please cover your right eye. Test peripheral visual fields in one eye at a time. Please look directly at my eye. The patient covers one eye and you shut your opposite eye. Please tell me when you see my finger moving. Now. Test each quadrant separately and compare now. your visual field with the patient's. Now. You need to be seated close together so that you can hold your finger in an equivalent position for both your and the patient's eye. Please cover your left eye. Please look directly at my eye and tell me... Start with your finger in the periphery, out of view, and wiggle the tip. Bring your wiggling finger along the diagonal towards the center of vision. The patient should indicate as soon as they see it moving. Next, we test the central visual field using a red hat pin. Please cover your right eye. And you close your left. What colour is the hat pin? Red. Testing for colour desaturation. Please keep your head still and look directly at my eye. Please tell me when the pin disappears. Make a rough map of the patient's blind spot. Please and compare this to your own. Is. Now. Can you see it here? Yes. And here. Compare perception yes. of the hat pin in the four quadrants of the visual field centrally. Yes. Ask specifically about colour desaturation. Next we examine the eye movements. Ask them to look at your finger held about an arm's length in front of them. Please keep your head still and look at my finger. Please follow my finger and tell me if you see double at any time. Move your finger to each side and up and down, tracing an H. You're looking to detect a divergence of the gaze, which you will see, or double vision, which the patient may report. You may also detect abnormal patterns of movement, such as nystagmus, 
or loss of smooth pursuit. Examine the pupils for shape and symmetry. Please look straight ahead. Take account of the ambient lighting. Continue looking straight ahead. I'm going to shine a light in your eyes. Bring a bright torchlight from the side to shine on the pupil. Look for constriction of the illuminated pupil, the direct light reflex, and of the opposite pupil, the consensual light reflex. Look at the accommodation reflex and gaze convergence. Please focus on a point on the far wall. Present an object at about 15 centimetres. Now look at the tip of this pen. You should see the eyes converge and the pupils constrict as the eye accommodates. We use an ophthalmoscope to look at the retina and optic nerve head. Let's have a look at the back of your eye. Start with the patient's right eye, holding the ophthalmoscope in your right hand and using your right eye. Select lens number 10 clockwise from zero. Please look down. Gently retract the upper eyelid. Now focus on a point on the far wall. Starting at a distance of about 10 centimeters, bring the red reflex into focus. Any opacity will appear black. In this way, the cornea, iris and lens can be visualized. Now come close to the patient's head, such that you are touching the hand you are resting on their forehead. As you do so, rotate the lenses anti-clockwise until the retina comes into focus. Please look up. By asking the patient to divert their gaze and making your own movements, work your way around the retina. And left. Finishing with the fovea. Please look directly at the light. Thank you.